very very good evening everyone welcome back to pantech e learning channel this is r divyanjali from pantech pantech is a platform where a person can innovate implement and experience a different experience over this platform it's purely a student platform where a student can experience innovate and implement different research and development works over this platform firstly i would like to welcome all the participants to the session very very pleasant evening shiva durga gayatri nagababu hemavati rakshita sirisha surya prakash preeti pradeep venkata jashwant welcome welcome all very good evening welcome back to pantech e learning channel yes hi shanmuk ibrahim very good evening you have kept some emojis i could not understand what it is is it related to something like raining yes yes very good evening good evening welcome 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 all the participants we are on the third day session of our master class right yeah so we are on deep learning master class 30 days master class we are on the third day of our session so in this third day what we are going to learn is we are going to learn something about artificial intelligence sorry artificial neural network okay so about this neural network we will learn advantages disadvantages how it is going to work and then we'll also see something application like practical oriented something like you also can do along with me okay i'll be sharing you the excel sheet files that in social media facebook group instagram groups will be having right there i'll be sharing you the csv files from here after okay fine so we are going to discuss about artificial neural networks before this today session let us recapitulate what we have learned in the yesterday and day before yesterday session first we have started with what is deep learning on day 1 right on day 1 we have started with what is deep learning what is its important where it has come from deep learning means what the word itself is telling us something like sir learn something in deep in depth correct so how we, a person can learn in depth so here we are going to make a system learn in depth according to the information it will be learning from the past data right so this is a sub branch of ai where we can come uh, we can even tell like an application of machine learning as well okay where in generally in machine learning we generally deal with algorithms in deep learning we generally deal with neural networks deep learning means we will be having basic neural network it means three layers will be there the first one is input layer second one is hidden layer third one is output layer this is the basic basic neural network okay if we have multiple layers more than three layers then we treat them as neural networks in clearly okay fine so here we have come up with artificial neural network this is not something different okay we can tell like this is one of the algorithm of machine learning only supervised algorithm okay so the word itself is telling like artificially we are going to create some neural network right fine dear participants don't discuss uh, uh, anything rather than our content okay so please discuss about our content it will be helpful for our all our friends as well okay fine so artificially we have to create some network neural network means why this neural networks has come into existence why because our human brain is made up of neurons connection where the information is being sent with the help of that neurons easily fastly correctly correct due to sensation or anything it might be it will pass the information or it will share the information right transfer or receive of information is being done spontaneously with the help of neurons correct here also as for a system we are creating some neural networks where it has to respond same like our human brain okay fine so artificially we are going to create some neural network where we have mainly three layers what are that layers first one input layer second one hidden layer third one 
output layer. Remember one thing, hidden layers, whenever I am telling that hidden layer, hidden layer, hidden layer, it is nothing but dense layer, okay, fine. Dear participants, I don't know whether am I audible to all of you. We need Python for our course. Python is mandatory. Python is the language which we are using for our applications. ANN is helpful for solving complex problems. Yes, of course. Uh, dear participants, if you, are if you are having systems, please do open the systems. We are going to work with some application oriented. Other than WhatsApp, uh, Praharsha. Uh, so the people has to install it. That's it. Okay, ma'am, your voice is too low. Huh? Is it clear now? Is it audible? Dear participants, am I audible to all of you? Is it clear? Is it good now or low only yet? Is my voice is audible? G ma'am, ready. Which applications? So dear participants, I, I would like to inform you before the session only. This is not your regular classroom session, okay? You can even share your knowledge from comment session so that I will be discussing about that, okay? Even your friends will, will be learning over here, okay? Please make the session interactive, dear participants. Audible, right? You missed day two, huh? you can rewind it. You will be having it in YouTube, okay? Much audible, very good. Fine, then we will continue. So whatever the query you are having, please let me know that in the comment session. I will get back to you by the last last 5 minutes. Okay, fine. So artificial neural network, it's a basic neural network where information is being sent with the help of neurons and it is consisting of three layers, input layer, hidden layer, output layer. Input layer first sends the input data array of elements or any input data it will be sent to the hidden layers. Now the hidden layers will do mathematical calculations and process the information and shares to the output layer. The output layer will give the output predictions. How much accurately or how much correctly it is able to predict my input data. That output values will be seen in the output layer. Okay, fine. Here comes the architecture which we already know about it. Yesterday also we have discussed about this ANN, right? Yes, Surya Prakash today only ANN, okay? This neural network is a very basic neural network which we have to learn and understand. So only one special class we have kept for this. I want to tell slowly about this neural network including application also. Okay, including application also. I will be explaining you each and every instruction. But the thing is, please make your typing skills to be fast. Okay, it will be helpful for all of us. Okay, fine. So the architecture of ANN consists of three layers. Input layer, hidden layer, output layer. So this architecture, whenever I am sharing some input data, right? Input nodes, you can see here input nodes. <coughs> yeah, input, uh, sorry, PPTs will be shared to you. Don't worry about that. If you are in WhatsApp groups or something like in internship groups, you will be receiving that. Okay, fine. So here, I first give my input layers where I have, I'll be sharing my input data that it will transfer to each and every node. Okay, every dense layer, it will be sharing our input data to each and every dense layer. It will do mathematical functions. What mathematical functions it will do? It will access my input values add weights to the input data what is the weight of of that particular input data that all inputs weights will be added over this hidden layer that calculated data will be shared to this output output layers output nodes okay fine so here are the advantages of using this network first advantage is easy model building with less formal statistical knowledge required it means to build this network we do not need to have more uh, skills on statistical calculations like that. We need some basic skills how the information is going to be processed. We need to know about these three layers input layer, output layer and hidden layer and how it works, how it works. Okay. Next, capable of capturing interactions between predictors. Various predictors will be there, right? 
so it can capture the different different interactive data also it can capture and work with that capable of capturing non linearities between predictors and outcomes inputs and outputs okay it can take unlinear or non linear type of input data also it can work next is users can apply multiple different training algorithms so we also can implement various training algorithms to this network okay so these are all the different advantages of artificial neural network next comes the disadvantages first one interpretation of model parameters is difficult interpretation means combining okay something like generally in language as per the language if you can consider interpreter means line by line execution okay here interpretation means combining of model parameters different different parameters if we wanted to combine different different parameters in this network it is little bit difficult it it is making our model or network so complex okay fine <coughs> smita sister explain me once about hidden layers with simple practical example hidden layers are nothing but it will access my input data and it will uh, calculate the data weights of that input data it will be summing all the weights of my all my input data and it will process to the proceeds to the output layer or forwards to the output layer that's it okay we are going to work with an application then you will easily understand also how it is going to work like that okay fine next so sharing an existing ann model is difficult so whatever the neural network we have created whatever the model we have created if we wanted to share that model to another to another network it's little bit difficult because already the model is created again we have to do modifications means it is making so complex right so we do not prefer that okay yeah you need some ppts right you will be receiving that if you are there in whatsapp groups or something like internship groups okay fine so prone to over overting due to the complexity of model structure it means already the neural network is complex we know that because it is going to work with more amount of data and the neural network each and every input it has to go to each and every node every hidden layer every dense node right so it it is already complex only by default because it has to process the complete information through all the nodes for suppose if one node fails to process the data it will not affect another node to forward my information okay next confidence intervals of the predicted risk are difficult to obtain it means when the data is been predicted if there is any issue it is uh, in the complete neural network where is the default it is little bit difficult to understand where might be the problem because it is complex consisting of n number of neurons among complete nodes at which node the problem is it's little bit difficult only right that's what the model development is empirical so development of this model also difficult only complex only why because why because here the information is being sent to different different nodes hidden layers nodes okay fine next types of artificial neural network we do have basically two types one is feed forward network the other one is feedback network feed forward network means in this type of network neural network the dense uh, not only dense from input to output we just share the data in a forward manner forward direction we do not recall that or regain or get back to the input data we cannot get like that okay so here once the input data is been been sent to the hidden layers where activation and something different layers will be there right one such is activation layer right so the data will be just forwarded in the forward direction only that is feed forward network neural network the other one is feedback network it is nothing but some data will be regained or it will be again sent to the uh, neural network hidden layers why why we have to send if any anything like if we wanted to improve its accuracy level or if we wanted to improve uh, the node input output data so then we will recall the data again we will process the information then we will proceed for output 
that is feedback network where a something like feedback element is present or something like the data can be recalled again okay fine next ann learning techniques supervised learning unsupervised so this neural network is applicable for both the supervised as well as unsupervised learning what is the supervised and unsupervised means supervised when a system is consisting of any type of labeled data where the data is already labeled with zeros and ones where the output is already known okay then we treat that particular system as supervised learning once again i'll tell you supervised learning means when a system is having some set of labeled data at the input we treat it as supervised learning okay where the output is already known okay so uh, although the output is already known what we'll be doing we'll apply the algorithms to that that's it so here we apply neural networks okay whereas in unsupervised when a system is consisting of some type of unlabeled data mixed data combined data there we use this unsupervised learning i hope you are understanding correct a n n full form of funny artificial neural network dear participants this is the title title dear participants you should know very good surya prakash artificial neural network very good can you explain learning algorithms comes under supervised and unsupervised yes of course supervised is basically divided or deals with two types of problem statements one such is classification type the second one is regression type okay classification deals with something like discrete value i have already discussed about it in discrete values means if you consider any problem statement for certain time period t1 it will be in zero state and for another time period t2 it will be in one state again time t3 it will be in zero state okay such type of discrete values wherever we can find there we can deal with classifier algorithms few such algorithms are navy bayes algorithm something like knn algorithm support vector mesh algorithm random forest algorithm and something like decision tree these algorithms basically applicable for both classifier as well as regression whereas regression deals with continuous changing of values where we can implement continuous predictions could be found right there we can implement this regression algorithms linear regression logistic regression like that we do have many okay fine in unsupervised also it deals with two types of problem statements one is association technique the second one is clustering technique okay so these are all the different learning techniques we are having next comes the applications of artificial neural network ibrahim ma'am can you help us with yesterday and today's ppt yeah ppts will be shared not only ppt you will also receive the coding file input file everything in the internship groups generally i don't know whether the material can be shared uh, are sharing in whatsapp group or not okay you you have to just contact to the management for further details about that okay so the applications of artificial neural networks it is basically used for text classification and categorization of input data in medical issues something like uh, in mri scanning images like that there or to predict any cancer det uh, detections there we can use nn neural network paraphrase detection when we paraphrase it means when we reduce the complete paragraph into few sentences right there also we can use this neural network to detect image processing applications also we can use this neural network so you can see here how it's going to work general way general way i am explaining you just to see x1 x2 are my input data i'll be sharing to each and every hidden layer right now x1 also shared x2 also shared this diagram yesterday itself i have explained you once again for uh, making you understand i have taken this okay now these functions what it will do it will add up all the weights of the data along with input data then it will process to the next feed forward or something like next processing element nodes okay each element will go to each and every node then sum up the values then give me my output over here 
right understanding fine next is hands on application so we are going to implement our project generally in anaconda navigator software in jupyter notebook editor window in python language okay so how many of you are ready with the software how many of you are ready with software anaconda navigator software or jupyter notebook ready if you are ready means you can work along with me okay fine if you are having input data that's fine else uh, i think you i be not having because i did not share you because i cannot share in youtube directly csv files input files whatever it is i cannot share that so what you have to do is you have to connect to me in another social media like facebook uh, we have a facebook a group over there so we'll be sharing you that link if you want you just add up in that group i'll be connecting to all the participants over that facebook group okay where you can ask any queries and take the material something like csv input files because today sessions today uh, morning only i can share you them so that evening you can work along with me okay fine for now you can just listen if it is possible okay which software ma'am anaconda navigator software jupyter notebook editor window python language okay what super fast i am explaining you slowly naga babu what super fast my dear participant i am going so slow telling very slowly to make everyone understand yeah very good naga babu we will be sharing you the link in whatsapp group don't worry about that and you can just join over there okay fine so just go to start all programs and type jupiter click on open okay how can i install uh, just go to google chrome type anaconda navigator download for windows click on enter you can see there is something like anaconda distribution click on that there you can see download symbol click on that it will be downloaded in a file format okay after downloading double click on that file a window will be appeared now just click on next 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 and then click on finish it will be installed okay after that open that software in your system and then launch jupyter notebook from there okay so just rewind the session if you want again okay fine so i already have installed so i can directly access open it it will first open the command prompt in this way collaboratory also you can use online okay google collaboratory okay yeah we are also going to share uh, how to install anaconda navigator software soon on the groups okay something like in internship groups how how to install line by line step by step we'll be explaining you okay fine so jupyter notebook when you open first it will open in the command prompt format then it will be opening the home page this is the home page of jupyter notebook okay mail or whatsapp group ah no it's not possible on mail it is possible only in social media that is what i am telling you okay it's better if you can connect to me in social media i'll be available in facebook uh, morning yeah morning 10:30 that time okay fine <coughs> yeah so here first you have to select the location where your file is going to be stored generally my all files important files all will be in downloads so i'll select that now here you have to select the file name dot ipynb okay ipynb means coding file okay and the next file will be dot csv file this file only we have to share you actually this is the input file this file only will be sharing you in social media okay so if you have this file you can work with this set of input data just click on this input file let us see what is the data this and all my input information okay which is consisting of different different columns churn modeling okay the application is churn prediction churn uh, churn means customer churn prediction that's what we'll tell so 
you can see here row number customer id surname credit score geography gender age tenure balance number of products which have been buyed has cr card next uh, is active member estimated salary excited everything will be there with us okay fine i have just click on clicked on this ipynb file i am going to get my coding file here okay so dear participants i hope the screen is clear right is the screen is clear so just type the instructions i will be explaining you you just run the code once again i will tell you about this jupyter notebook this is a jupyter notebook editor window coding file here you can see a rectangular box this is called as a cell whatever the content you are writing within the cell it has to be saved with save and checkpoint symbol and if you wanted to add more number of cells click on plus symbol if you want to delete any cell click on the cell and click on scissors it will be deleted and copy paste in the same manner and we can run the code in two ways one is click on run symbol one after the other line the other way is click on shift plus enter on your keyboard okay fine now i have some csv file which is nothing but some excel sheet data okay in order to work with some set of input data i need to have few library files especially for deep learning we do adding up few li library files okay let us discuss them okay yeah first import pandas as pd variable pandas is a library file used for accessing of input data to access or to work with my input data i am going to use this pandas library file okay and it is represented with pd variable we can give any variable representation over here by default i have mentioned like pd okay next is import numpy as np variable numpy is a library file used for numerical values accessing purpose okay to access any numerical values or any calculation purpose we use this numpy library file and it is represented with np variable next is import matplot library dot pyplot module as plt variable matplot library is used for visualizing the data in graphical format okay to visualize the data in graphical format we will be using this matplot library and from importing this matplot library from this matplot li library i am using pyplot module as plt variable next is seaborn which is used for customization purpose customization means something like to make my graph attractive okay something like by size color indication like that okay and it is represented with sns variable please send the facebook link i'll be sharing you the facebook link instagram link and linkedin also you just add okay just give me some time by the end of the session i'll share you varshita venkat ramana okay i'll share you sir okay fine next is import tensor flow as tf tensor flow is a deep learning library file which is very very important for now you just import what is its importance we will learn in the day 6 or 7 i guess okay fine next it is represented with tf now from this tensor flow import keras screen is very clear huh? very good so you also can practice along with me but the only thing is you do not have the excel sheet data from tomorrow we'll be get uh, sharing you in social media itself okay fine so from tensor flow import keras module keras also deep learning library file only okay now from keras dot uh, tensorflow dot keras dot models i am going to create artificial neural network apply this neural network right for that input input layer is sequential model next is dense flat and dropout all these are the in uh, processing layers hidden layers only next from tensorflow dot keras dot optimizers add a optimizer i have considered dear participants regarding this neural network i have already explained you in data science 2.0 version classes also what are the different optimizers we are having like that okay for that you just recall that okay or revise that sessions it will be helpful for you because i can't explain the complete uh, optimizers all types of optimizers over here right in one session it is difficult that is already explained for further information you can just get it back okay fine so next is from tensorflow dot keras dot models i have imported load model it, it means 
load my neural network into the program like that okay now from sklearn sklearn is a library file which is used for accessing of machine learning modules or algorithms so from this sklearn i am using model selection technique it's a technique where i am going to import train test split module this module basically used to split my input data complete excel sheet data has to be divided why has it has to divide means for suppose if i give some input data to the system to the algorithm and ask that particular algorithm to give the predictions do you think it can give do you think no it doesn't have that much knowledge it will just access my input data it will store that's it that is why we are going to divide our data into two categories one category of data is called training data the other category of data is called testing data training data is used to train the model to make the model understand what my input data consisting of testing data means it is used as a new data when when we give this testing data right it will compare with the training data and give me my output prediction when it will give me my output prediction when i apply the algorithm to my training and testing data then it will give me my output prediction understanding everyone day 2 ppt you will receive in the groups okay ajay agarwal you will receive it my dear participant fine so next from sklearn dot pre processing pre processing technique means what it's nothing but filtering the data okay so from sklearn dot pre processing i have imported label encoder and min max scalar label encoder means converting any form of data into binary format generally encoder means converting any form of data into binary format label encoder means already the data is labeled with 0 or 1 tagged with 0 and 1 output <coughs> okay the already the data is tagged with zeros and ones output is already known for that data i am encoding it okay labeling the encoded data now min max scalar i have imported which is used to normalize the input data next time and warnings time is used to update the time warnings are uh, imported to avoid the warnings okay now from sklearn dot metrics metrics is a module used for mathematical calculation purpose so from sklearn dot metrics i have imported accuracy score f1 score precision score recall value classification and confusion these are all the output modules okay fine coming on to the next cell from sklearn dot pre processing technique i have imported standard scalar module i just imported that's it okay what this module will do means it will normalize my input data okay now import operating system next directory generally we will be collecting our input data from online websites like kaggle uci repository as well okay next for each and every file name we will be checking now here comes our input file churn underscore modeling dot csv see dot csv represents my input is a excel sheet data that complete file i will be reading into the program with the help of pandas library file and store the complete excel sheet into a very very small variable called df now when i run this df variable you can see my complete excel sheet is going to be displayed here how many number of rows and columns are there also it will be displayed how many are there number of rows and columns how many are there 10000 rows past information past recorded data with 14 different different parameters or columns which are also called as attributes i am going to have 14 different attributes what are the row number customer id surname credit score geography gender age tenure balance number of products has credit card is active member estimated salary and excited or not whether the particular customer is excited to buy the products or not okay fine so next one i have applied oh, sorry yeah so here i have applied is null dot some function which will give by default which will give by default whether there are any null values present if present how many number of val null values are there for each and every column it will display okay next dot information block 
it will describe for each and every column it will describe whether it is consist uh, how much total count 10000 rows the count will be same okay next for that columns whether we have null values or not and next it will display which type of data type it is consisting of okay next dot columns represent what are all the columns that are present in my excel sheet okay next now what i am taking is row number customer id surname all these columns i am taking taking and storing in this variable now i will drop this variable it means all these columns will be eliminated dropped means eliminated taken it off like that next i have applied header function by default it will display first five rows starting from the index value 0 1 2 3 4 with all the columns next get the dummies it means duplicate values duplicate columns and store in the variable again i have applied header function it will display first five rows now i am going to plot this columns information in graph what are the columns credit score age balance estimated salary tenure so seaborn is a library file kde plot means graphical plotting okay shadow has true values to be considered so all these columns data you can see here i have plotted credit score destiny okay that values are plotted here next taking the module standard scalar into a variable for each and every column i am going to consider this or normalize the data and after normalizing again i have to store in the same column now again i am plotting this columns information what are the columns credit score age balance estimated salary and tenure this columns information again i am going to plot because here we have normalized the data so you can see the graphical representation clearly if you can observe the previous graph how it is not clear right <coughs> after applying this module standard scalar we got the clear graph clear uh, clearly shown the graphical representation of our input data right next count plot that excited my output column is whether the customers are excited or not zeros and ones excited column only that column here i am just uh, plotting in graph how many are coming under 0 and 1 how many are interested and how many are not interested okay now excited column and value counting it means how many zeros how many ones are there you can see here right fine next is now i am going to divide my data into input and output what is my input data from my excel what is my output from my excel excited column is only my output data except that column all the columns to be stored in x variable only excited column i store in y variable now what i'll do is i'll apply this module train test split module to this x and y variables okay now test size i gave 0.2 it means 20 percent data will be given to test purpose remaining 80 percent data will be given to train the model okay next shuffle means shuffle all the true values okay next now as i have applied this train test split module to input and output i am going to divide my complete data into x train x test y train y test data fine now i have applied here shape function for input and output it will give me how many number of rows and columns are there so for x train x test y train y test what is the total number of rows and columns are there now i am going to build up a neural network okay fine so sequential means input model okay that model i am storing in a variable called model now adding the dense layers hidden layers how many layers here six next to five next to one three dense layers of different different units input dimensions and activation functions now compile the model whatever the model we are going to create we have to compile it okay next i have applied it summary it means i have to get the summary of my model what my model is consisting of first it will be consisting of different different layers right what is the shape of the dense layers so number of parameters which are present in the layers for six units i am going to have 84 parameters because i gave input dimensions also right for five units i am going to have 35 for one dense layer i am going to have six units okay six parameters total parameters are 125 parameters are there in that trainable 125 complete 125 i am giving for training purpose non trainable parameters are zero now i am going to fit my training data to this neural network 
batch size 10 epox which is very very important epox i gave like 100 it means for suppose if i give 10 for each and every epoch it has to calculate the loss and accuracy value okay here i gave 100 epochs it means for each and every epoch it will give me the loss value and accuracy value store that result in history variable so you can see for each and every epoch here you can get the loss value accuracy value okay i hope everyone understanding everyone enjoying the session we are on the last step of our neural network creation okay I hope everyone is understanding how we are creating a neural network, that to artificial neural network, right? If you are understanding, please let me know that in the comment section, telling that I am understanding it ma'am or I am understanding this sister like that, okay? Fine. Next. Next. From the history, I am going to get the accuracy values and store in this variable. I don't want yes ma'am, no ma'am like that. I don't want such answers dear participants. So please, this is not uh, something like, uh, we are not small kids, right? So just give me the answer telling that something like, I am understanding this concept. I have a query, clearly you have to tell, okay? Fine. So if you are having query also, you can just tell, okay? Epochs means, for suppose I am giving some 125 input units as my uh, training data. Each and every uh, complete 125 data will be divided into 100 epochs. I gave 100 epochs means 100 parts like that. Okay. Now here I am calculating the accuracy value. Okay. Next to loss value. Next range I have considered 100. Epochs range. It means till 99 it will access. Remember one thing my dear participants. In Python language when we represent some range it will access the data till this is deep learning code only dear participant deep learning neural network how we are creating a neural network how we are training that how it is predicting the data okay for any uh, related to python programming if you want some sessions just to attend Py uh, pantech e learning uh, python sessions we are also having master class on advanced python programming as well that is very very important useful for you it will be helpful for you Dear participants, we have a huge career in Python language. The complete next 10 to 20 years, we are going to work with Python only. Any, any area you are going to work, we are going to have Python. It's a basic beginner language, something like magic. Okay. It is very easy to understand, but don't neglect it. It is a very, very vast programming language. If you go on learning, go on coming new, new things. Okay. Fine. So now I am plotting the data here, subplot given as 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1. It means first row, uh, second, uh, second column, first diagram like that. Okay. So epochs we have given, training accuracy, validation accuracy, testing accuracy. Next, legend means a very small block which you can see here. Okay. That is called a legend block. Okay. Next, title, title of my complete graph I have given here. So, we have even shared you the WhatsApp group link just to do add them. Okay. Next, subplot 1, 2, 2, epochs range title given as training and validating loss. In the first graph, we got accuracy, training accuracy and validating accuracy level. Next, in the second graph, we got training data loss value and validating data loss value. Next, predict the data with the help of X test. Okay. Model to be predicted with the help of X test data. I have a query where epochs is lies uh, like cross validation of training and testing. Epochs means number of parts. You remember that. Okay. Number of parts. It's like train and test split. We have already splitted the data. Again, the splitted data will be divided into n number of parts. For each and every part, it will give me my output uh, accuracy level and loss also. Okay. Model loss. We call it as model loss that you can see here. Okay. For training data, what is the loss? For validation data, what is the loss? Okay. Next, predict the output data. You can get here the array of elements. When I predict the data, that is Y prediction, which is to be calculated with the help of X test, that and all should be stored in this variable Y prediction. Here, Y prediction, we, we will get in terms of array of elements. I don't want such array of elements. Generally, I want my output in terms of accuracy level. Okay. So, I am going to check here Y prediction. If X value is greater than 5, 0.5, it is going to add as 1. Else, it will append as 0. 
okay now y prediction elements you can see here all zeros and ones are displayed right <coughs> why predict x test is required actual system prediction is y prediction to get that prediction x test data input data has to be given x test means testing input data okay new input data understanding priyanka yeah now for y test also i am going to take the list of elements you can see these are my array of elements dense means hidden layer kalpana okay next from sklearn dot matrix module i have imported confusion matrix where in this matrix i am going to plot my output data okay now confusion matrix to be plotted with the help of y test and y prediction values which are represent my confusion matrix here now i am going to install one new module that is mlx trend okay this module is used pl for plotting the data in conf uh, confusion matrix okay i just in imported not only this module any module can be installed with the help of pip install mlx uh, module pip install module name. this is the command for installing any module okay fine after that from mlx tent library file dot plotting module i have imported plot confusion matrix now i am going to plot this with the help of y test and y prediction values which i have considered from cm variable figure size i gave now when i plot the data you can see here how many number of rows and columns are uh, rows are under 0 and 1 how many values are counting under 0 and 1 the first column represents the truly we humans given some excel sheet data right that are this how many are zeros and ones the second row represents the actually predicted data okay so 252 churns are not interested and how many are interested to buy the products again 159 participants oh uh, sorry 159 customers okay this is how we have plotted the data so what is the average accuracy we can tell we have calculated here the loss and accuracy level on an average 86 percentage accurately this artificial neural network is able to predict the input data that is regarding customers churn whether the customers will buy the products from the same company or not same product or not okay this is what all about your code now let me know whether you are having any queries Dear participants, any more queries regarding the application? Yeah, if you are having any queries, please let me know that in the comment section. Till that, I will be explaining you about the objective of our master class. We know that we are going to create some few pro uh, projects over this deep learning master class. And the people who are interested to enroll for one month internship on master class data science 2.0, uh, sorry not data science deep learning it is habituated for data science data science data science so i am getting that only <laughs> fine so how to enroll for one month internship for deep learning this is the registration link you can just join internship cost is 999 actual cost is but if you can use this coupon please use this coupon you will get the offer as well you can access the ppt's material videos csv files and the coding file everything you will be getting with the help of 597 rupees it is of low cost on an average expen uh, ex we can put as a student as a participant anywhere we can put this amount which is beneficial for you to build your career as well if this material whatever you are sharing also it will be helpful for your final year projects or for any research purpose also it will be helpful uh, ma'am what is the code about the code is all about predicting the customers interest whether they will buy the products or not once again like that confusion matrix true positive is higher so our model is good in that case and how do you determine cutoff points uh, we, we can give something like threshold values for that okay uh, give us some references on each topic to read yeah of course from tomorrow I will be providing some references as well you can just go through that it will be helpful for making you easily understand we will be giving that your voice is changed ma'am <laughs> the weather is different right that too completely cool weather it will be changing only. mechanical application also uh, is it anyway I didn't understand Smita your query yeah we are going to have our next master class that is on artificial intelligence technology which is the very very fascinating technology 
it's going to start on 21st i guess uh, just join that sessions 110% that sessions will be awesome that technology has a huge demand huge value you know that right i no need to tell you because everything now updated students know very well which technology is fascinating right the next 20 30 50 years also ai is going to change everything around us so you need to know this basics right for that only we are keeping this uh, ai ai master class okay if you want you, you can just uh, join that sessions as well it will be starting from 21st november okay fine so for internship join please use this registration link we'll also share this in the comment session as well yeah what we have learned in today session first we have learned what is this artificial neural network and how it is going to work what are the different layers it is having uh, architecture with layers advantages disadvantages also we have discussed applications also we have known next uh, hands on session how we are going to work with artificial neural network that is uh, how we have created that neural network that is what we have learned okay uh, any more queries yet to be clarified just let me know that in the comment session everything clear means please raise your hands telling that it's clear madam it's clear my dear sister like that attendance uh, online classes will be in online nishita selva kumar classes will be in online and is of free of cost you will be getting the complete 30 days master class on ai with free of cost you can learn some new technology which will be helpful for your career ma'am dl internship course completion ke baad karne hai ye kuch month baad bhi kar sakte hain oh dl internship course completion ke baad okay okay i understood dear participant but you can do simultaneously because these both are interlinked that's why okay ai ml dl completely comes under one category only right so only okay okay you need industrial application on what smita yeah you can just let me know your query clearly in the comments i'll get back to your query for sure smita okay today's concept is clear very good kajal very high five data science 2.0 that is different okay now we are learning deep learning data science master class is over one version over two version also over regarding certificates re regarding internships you can just contact to the numbers of pantech e learning okay yeah so we'll wind up the session so firstly i would like to welcome the first participant who came to the session with so much interest i hope i might have made your day understanding the concept clearly and i also would like to thank all the participants all the participants each and every one who made the session interactive and who are willing to learn something pandek always welcomes the participants or students with the new ideologies okay if you are having any queries any interest like that you can just let us know we can guide you to build your future in your own interest way okay so have some delicious dinner that too it is weekend saturday and take rest happily and tomorrow complete day you can enjoy but come back by 7 pm in the same platform youtube be at 7 pm so that again we have to start our session that is a fourth day session so tomorrow we will be discussing about convolutional neural networks okay so fine thank you all the participants have a very nice time and last but not least if you like the session please do like comment share to your friends who are in need of the technical content and also subscribe to pandek e learning channel if you are the first time visitor to our channel so thank you all have a very nice time